Hello, my lovely Wonder School friends. Um, I'm joining you again to do a demonstration of our Picasso Cubist portrait. Um, um, yes, art craft that we have planned for today. Um, I am broadcasting from my lovely kitchen. This is my stove. And we're going to be walking through the materials you'll need. Um, if you haven't seen the lesson video, totally stop here and go over and look at that. There's written step-by-step -step, um, instructions of what we will be covering in this video. Okay, so we are going to be needing a glue stick, a pair of scissors, a picture of yourself or multiple if you're silly like me, and some crayons if you'd like to decorate it and a piece of paper and that is all you'll need um so first things first what we're going to do is we're going to take the photo of yourself and go ahead and cut that up so i know that when we were talking about in our lesson about cubism it is you would see a lot in cubism that cubism paintings that picasso would make you would see a lot of shapes Cubes make us think of squares, so there'll be squares, there'll be some triangles, some circles, a lot of those shapes. You can make shapes as you cut out, out, um, as you cut out your, um, cuts your pictures of yourself. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm gonna be cutting different shapes out of my face. Um, and another thing to think about, I know we talked about in the lesson, is that a lot of times in cubism, somebody will take, um, people like Picasso, would take their uh, person they were drawing and squish their face. So if they're looking at a picture, a person from this perspective, you see my nose and my eye and my ear, but when you would squish my face, you might have this eye over here. And then basically he would be taking somebody's face from lots of different views, but putting them, squishing them into one picture. So it looks a little interesting and silly. So you could put an eye over here, your nose over here, and just be really silly and creative with it. So that's kind of why I have my two pictures. So I could put three eyes on me, something else, silly like that, if you'd like to do that with me. So, but what I'm gonna start with is I'm going to, take my big picture and I just want to cut out my body and you can ask for help if you would like some help with this um, I know some of my friends like to cut out things make silly shapes but I know a lot of my friends really really like to glue things a little bit more so if you want to ask for help for the cutting part and then go straight to the gluing you totally can but i'm going to cut out my body like this and then i'm going to cut out my face so that i can cut up all of my eyes and my nose and stick them wherever i want so there's my body i'm going to put this in the recycling bin and then i'm gonna go ahead and cut out my face like this but you don't have to do that. Um, in the different examples I used in the lesson, you just cut like crazy and just make all kinds of shapes. You don't have to do this at all. This is just my example of what you could do if you wanted to. So here's my face coming out. And then I'm gonna do what I was saying. I'm just gonna cut all kinds of weird shapes. I'm just gonna cut right down the middle like this. Just go crazy, just keep on cutting. I'm gonna cut my eye off, cut my forehead. Now I have this little eye over here. See? You can see. I'm gonna go over here and cut some more pieces. Gonna get a little silly. And now I have my nose and my mouth. I'm gonna wanna cut out my nose and my mouth, I think. What do you think? Mm -hmm. 
And now I have all of my different pieces. I'm just cutting them up. You can cut, you can cut right through the eye if you want. I'm gonna take this one and do the same thing. And I cut, 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 cut. Just have fun with it. I know some of us really love helping and cutting. Just have fun practicing your scissor skills. Doesn't have to be perfect at all. So now I have a million pieces, and now it's time to get going. So I'm gonna stand up now, and my head's gonna get whoop, all gone. I'm gonna grab my piece of paper here, and what I'm gonna do is back my chair up and just put a ton of glue down. Just go so that it's easy to stick on. I know a lot of you guys are so good at using glue. Here we go. So I'm gonna put my head on first like this. You guys don't have these. You can just add things, pile them on. And now I'm gonna just start putting silly pictures everywhere. So I have my silly eyeball. Where, where is it? There it is. I'm just gonna put it, hmm, maybe right here. <gasps> Let's see how it looks. I'm gonna press it down. And I'll take my mouth now. I'm gonna maybe put it on the side, like this maybe. Make it a little lopsided. Look a little silly. Now, hmm, where should I put this eye? <laughs> maybe I'll put it really close or a little high up, like that. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And now I'll put, yeah, I'll take one of my silly ones that I just cut willy nilly. Maybe this one, it's kind of the side of my mouth. I think that one's gonna go up here, maybe. And where's my mouth? See if I can find it. There it is. Maybe my other mouth fell down. So my other mouth, you see my teeth? Maybe I'll put that over here. My goodness, I'm looking a little, I'm looking a little funny. So I'm gonna put my nose right in the middle. So now I have my very silly face. You can see I have my two eyes. I have a mouth and a half and a nose. I have all my bits that you need for a face. But I about these other little pieces. So if you want, you can just keep on gluing on, adding some fun stuff on there, or you can leave it the way it is. I'm gonna put some pieces on just for fun. You guys, I know you guys all like just gluing and having a good time. So I'm gonna put some pieces on just for kicks. Do, 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 do. So there's just some of my silly cut out pieces, just chilling. I think that one looks a little funny. Move it over, I'll pick a new one. Mm -hmm. Let me put my nose over here. So here is my glued silly Picasso portrait. My face is all squished. And some of my, my features and my eyes, my nose are moved around a little bit. And it looks like Picasso and how he moves people's faces around. So now that that's all glued and your face is all done, your portrait, now you can go ahead and decorate it if you like. You can color um, in some of the, some of your eyebrows, or your hair, you can just doodle on it, make a background, put some flowers, some hearts, you can use any stickers you have. You can just use whatever fun things you have at home. So I'm going to take some pink, maybe color in my face a little bit, because my face can be kind of pink sometimes. Maybe take some orange, make my shirt a little orange. Maybe I'll make a big sun. Maybe I'll make, I'll take a funny color. Maybe I'll make my hair blue or something silly like that. Go a little bit silly. So here's, I'm coloring my hair blue. I can see my lips are a little bit pink. 
Make some doodles here and there. Make a good background, put some, some hills, some mountains. You know, color in my face. Anyway, so you can do things like this to just color it and make it look the way you like it to look. Ta-da! I know it looks very silly. The last one I tried to do looks like this. So you can just do whatever feels right and fun. We're just experimenting, just like Picasso did with his cubism work. So I hope that you have fun doing that. Um, and I hope that you can uh, display your artwork for all to see. And I will see you again next Friday. Bye, guys.